back here at Cooper Creek Square. Uh, great stop in town. It's got 20 shops and restaurants. And speaking of uh, one of the shops here, we have Mountain Grind. It's a coffee company downstairs of Cooper Creek Square. And I've got Brent here from Mountain Grind. What's going on, Brent? Doing very well. How are you doing? Hey, doing all right. And you guys are uh, coffee, obviously, the grind. And then what else are we doing down there? Uh, we do so much more other than coffee, although our name obviously shows that we are a, a very full coffee shop. However, we do provide fudge. Uh, full lunch and breakfast Okay, so more than just service. the sweet tooth and coffee. You guys Absolutely, got we do. And a lot of folks don't know that here in the county, so we're still trying to get the word out that we provide very good, uh, fresh, wholesome, organic ingredients in our lunch and our breakfast. And uh, we also serve gelato, which is big with the families around here. We see a lot of the kiddos come in because of that, and I brought some of that in for you all today. And it, each one looks incredible, so uh, yeah. I think we're going to get to sample a few bites here. I was kind of hoping you might. Yeah, let's get into that. You Let know, me I'm... show you a couple here. This one here is our cinnamon gelato, and I brought you a little spoon. All we right. Do you can keep this? You can keep that one. Uh, we do little spoons because gelato is meant to be enjoyed and not... Yeah. Uh, overindulged, Inhaled, you know? exactly. Yeah, I was it's, say, coming um, <laughs> long day of skiing, I'm sure that a lot of people just take one bite. It's uh, it's more dense than regular ice cream. That's one of the things that makes gelato unique. So we generally serve it in smaller portions, as well. Okay, so more dense, like custard, or what are we talking? Is it what defines gelato? Why? Sure, it? sure. Well, gelato is uh, is well, kind of an Italian product, and it's very popular over in Europe and not as common over here, but it is made with less cream. We call ice cream ice cream because it has a lot of cream in it. Yeah. So it has a little bit less cream in it, and it makes it a bit healthier. I'm not going to go so far as to say that it's an amazingly healthy product, sure, no but worries. generally healthier than uh, than a large tub of ice cream that, would be. That so. cinnamon is pretty ridiculous. That's good, man. Uh, That's what, pretty tasty. What, what do I got here? This, this one is pistachio. Oh, there we go. And there's people in the world that are pistachio folks and those that are not, but uh, those that like it, love it. So uh, we do keep the pistachio gelato, and it is very popular. Wow, that's really good. You like that one? So it, it's gelato with some, obviously chunks of pistachio. Yep, so actually has chunks of pistachio fresh in it. ingredients, yeah. And then this is my personal favorite. This is our toasted coconut. So this is your favorite right here? Yeah, the that's my coconut. favorite of our gelatos right there. And it is also extremely popular, but we have chocolate and birthday cake and strawberry and mint and, you know, all of these sort of... Uh, popular flavors as well as some unique items too. So. Now do you uh, do you guys make this down there or does this come in from? Uh, gelato is locally produced um, here in Colorado but is not made in our shop. Now we do make all of our own homemade fudge and just about any other ingredient we can get away with doing homemade including our carrot cake which is very popular. Oh, nice Homemade carrot. carrot cake, yeah. Well this, I'm going to go with you man, this coconut is pretty good. You like that one? Yeah, that's good. Hey, yeah. so real quick, let's hit our breakfast and lunch. Just List some of the things you guys are doing. Burritos, your breakfast burritos? Absolutely. We do fantastic breakfast burritos. And I'll tell you what makes them so good is that we do homemade sausage, homemade chorizo, oh, nice. really nice, okay. thick cut, fresh applewood bacon. And so the best ingredients you can get in a burrito. You put all three in one? Do it. <laughs> you could Lo probably have that. Meat? Yeah, you could right. have that custom made if you like something and like that. Lunch is sandwiches. Sandwiches. Uh, we do uh, homemade multi grain and sourdough bread. If we have a bread in the shop, most of the time it's going to be homemade. Uh, so those are also very tasty, fresh turkey, fresh ham. We roast our own chicken. We roast our All own right. turkey. So anything we can do in-house to keep it fresh and local, we will do. Now, I like to hit the corduroy hard in the morning and then tap out about 11. Am I going to be able to get a bloody down there? <laughs> you can get a Bloody Mary. Most of you guys do cocktails. Yes, we do cocktails. Mimosas and Bloody Marys are very popular, especially for the... Uh, the morning after skiers that are in awesome. the county to have a good time. Yeah, and, uh, no, that's great. Pretty much any cocktail. So you guys you are a lot more than coffee or full. I mean, that's a, you got it all there. Absolutely so. we are. So if folks get a chance to come out after dinner or see one of our open mic nights, anything that they're out in the evening, they want to have some good conversation in a nice atmosphere, we can probably find something to take care so of you. Nice. So I'll, I'll cut you off in the open mic nights. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll sure. come back and talk a little more about that. Sounds great. All right. With that, we're going to see what the weather's doing.